Hey guys, Mike from Wrestling Then and Now. Thanks so much for checking out the YouTube channel and for all your support. If you haven't already, please click subscribe. I have so much content coming up. You don't want to miss anything. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like. It really does help my channel grow. Thanks again. Everyone knows the story. You started out with Matt and Jeff. Uh, you guys started out uh, as friends. And what, did they, did they essentially train you? No, nah, like everybody, you know, Wikipedia has got that wrong too. Like it drives me nuts because... Um, you know, Matt and Jeff, they had the whole trampoline thing in their backyard. And um, I was like nine years old, man, whenever I started even, you know, dabbling, you know, whenever I become friends with them, they, you know, already had their little TWF federation. It wasn't much of a federation. It was just a trampoline kids had turned into a wrestling ring pretty much. And, you know, I joined that party with them. But, you know, it, it was probably, it was a while after that before, you know, the actual pro wrestling part of it, the training and all that started. So to me, and I feel like we just kind of, we did it together. And I feel like we all just helped each other try, you know, try to figure this thing out. Um, it's weird because I, every, and I don't know if somebody said something and it was taken wrong. Like whenever it comes to, they train me, I don't know where that came from because it, they make it sound like I walked into Matt and Jeff's wrestling school and like, you know, like, hey, guys, I want to be a pro wrestler. Um, and that wasn't the case. It's just we started this journey together and just kind of learned together and um, just walked through it like that. And who else was that? Hurricane? Uh, Hurricane come in the picture later. He was already wrestling, um, you know, about this time, too. He was just in a different part of North Carolina. Um, but we, you know, we'd hear about Shane cause like, you know, I, especially me, like I was a smaller guy and like, you know, one of the smaller guys on the scene that was doing good stuff, uh, in the area and Shane was another small guy. So like there was all these, all the, there was always these people, you know, like not really trying to start beef, but like, Hey man, there's this Shane Helm guy, you know, this, he's really good. Um, you know, like, you know, do you think you could beat him? And it's like, who is this Shane Helms guy? So like finally, whenever um, finally whenever I met Shane, you know, like he was super cool. And then once we met him, he kind of started coming around a lot more. And you know, like obviously Omega, um, he was a huge part of that. And just going forward, he's you know one of the brothers. Uh, was Joey and Christian there too? Yeah, Joey and Christian was there. Um, Steve Carino, um, obviously, DW. Um, he was around, um, God, there were so many, man. um, yeah, like that, that was the core, you know, that the core group, like whenever you look back, Joey Abs, Scott Matthews, Champagne. Um, so we had a good crew, man, back then. This, this, you don't really see that anymore. Those big crews of the boys in area that, you know, all travel together and not only wrestle, but try to enjoy the road together, you know, like everybody's so like go to the show and then go home. Um, and I, I see it now and it's like, man, man, the culture's changed, you know? Yeah. Back then it was, it was like you guys with North Carolina click. You had like, like me and crowbar and Simon diamond and reckless you yeah. Northeast. And you had like um, <clears throat> Donovan Morgan and crash Holly and uh, Mike modest. Like that was like the yeah. California, you know what I mean? Like you had all these, it was, yeah. And these are great back then. Yeah, they, it, it was amazing, man. Um, I feel like it was still a little bit territorial back then, you know. Like, yeah. and now that's just kind of just going away. Yeah, and Steve Carino, he was the guy who bounced around. Like, he was, he'd come up to our show and say, "Oh, I just worked with Omega and Matt," and J like he was the guy yeah. who was able to, like, you know, he was friends with everybody. So yeah, <laughs> Steve, yeah, he was well great. connected, man. Like, he he knew everybody. He was going to be a wrestler. There was no yeah. stopping him. Yeah. <laughs> Late nineties, WCW starts signing a lot of cruiserweights. Were you just part of that, that mass signing? <clears throat> no, nah, it's a weird story, actually. Um, once again, I apologize, man. I, I don't know. I woke up this morning with this freaking head cold. Um, no, nah, we was, um, me, uh, Shane Helms, Joy Matthews, and Christian York. We were doing something called the bad street boys out in music city wrestling for, Bill Barron's and Burt Prentice. Um, so never Memphis was still around. Like Music City was still kind of one of those little territories too out in the Tennessee area. Yeah. Um, 
And we've been doing that for, you know, about a year. And uh, Matt and Jeff at that point, you know, they were so close to being called up to WWE. Um, you know, I was just like, man, like, <clears throat> and I talked to Tom Pritchard too, um, just about going to WWF at the time. And, uh, you know, Tom was honest with me. He's like, dude, your ring works good, but, you know, you're just, you're tiny. And at that point, you know, Matt and Jeff were the small guys, you know, at that point. Um, so, like, me, I was 140 pounds. So, you know, Tom was like, I'm just being honest with you, man. Like, you know, go to Japan or go to Mexico. And Jeff had just went to Japan for Victor Kianes. And um, I was thinking about going that route you know, calling Victor and like just trying to work my way into Mexico or Puerto Rico or Japan. Um, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give it a last ditch effort. And I uh, talked to Matt and Jeff, they knew Canyon or from doing jobs at WWF. And um, right. I was like, Hey, have you got his number? And uh, yeah, Matt gave me Canyon's number and I reached out to Canyon and uh, Canyon's like, dude, the power plant's full. Um, Cause I was like, Hey, you know, is there any way you could get me in the power plant just, you know, so that way I could be down to training and with this cruiserweight thing going on now with, you know, the luchadors coming in, maybe I could slide in. That's that was my hopes. And he was like, man, we're, it's packed out down there. The power plant's full. So there's probably nothing to open. Um, and he knew who I was cause he watched wrestling so much and music city wrestling was, on, you know, it was national TV. So Canyon would watch that program. He's like, dude, you're good, you know, but just there's nothing for you right now. And I was like, okay, that's cool. Just keep me in mind. I'll keep in touch. And um, it was the next day he was supposed to – he's going to call me back for something. Um, and I remember leaving it on my answering machine. Those These kids, they don't even know what that is probably anymore. But um, <laughs> on the answer machine, I was like, hey. You need, uh, call your cell, you need to call your cell phone? <clears throat> yeah. No, Did he right? text you? <laughs> yeah. And uh, on my answer machine, I left uh, Matt and Jeff's number because I was going over there to work on like a demo tape or something or watch wrestling. And I was like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm going to be away from my house for a little bit. Like, if you need to reach me, call this number. And I was at um, Matt and Jeff's house and uh, Canyon called me and he's like, dude, you're not going to believe this. And uh, I was like, what? He's like, yeah, um, Eric Bischoff gave me the power to hire 21 cruiserweights. And he's like, you know, you reached out at the perfect time. So, like, you know, you're going to be the first one. Um, I'm like, what? And he goes, yeah, contract. Give me your address. Contract's in the mail. I'm like, uh, is this a joke? Like, you know, I thought it was somebody just, you know, screwing around with me. And um, I got off the phone. I was like, Matt, I think I just got a contract. And uh, he's like, what? I was like, yeah, Canyon just called me. <clears throat> so... That happened. They sent my contract. You know, it was a, a good good chunk of money for, you know, an 18-year-old kid. Um, and uh, I was like, holy shit, like, this is amazing. And then I sit home for, like, three months. Or, yeah, probably about three months. And then uh, Canyon finally called me, and he's like, hey, um, I think it was Atlanta that Nitro was going to be at. He's like, you know, we want to watch you work. Or Eric does. He wants to see work live. I'm like, okay, cool. He's like, who do you want to work? And I was like, Ray Mysterio, obviously. He's like, dude, not you can't work Ray. Like he's a top guy. <laughs> like, all right, uh, Billy awesome Kidman. Answer. He's like, no. Nope. He goes, who can you bring? And then um, Shane ended up going with me, and then they hired Shane too. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, is it Hulk Hogan? Do I? That's why I want to work. That's why I want to work Hulk Hogan. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much <laughs> you know was my. Canyon just laughed. He's like, yeah, of course you do. Everybody wants to work, right? 